back to daytime. Ottawa talked about healthy living right off the top of the show and how difficult it is for many families out there to live a healthy li lifestyle and eat uh, nutritious foods. But our next guest can help you with just that with a raw diet. We are joined by Natasha Kisa. She is the author of Simply the Simply Raw Kitchen. Welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Great to be back. Of course, the owner of Simply Raw Express as well. You're doing a little bit of everything these days. You've been a busy lady. I have. Congratulations. I seen you in a long time yeah. since opening up the restaurant. No kidding. Well, congratulations. The restaurant's Thank been a you. wonderful success. And I think you went in a different direction with this cookbook than you did your your previous book. What what makes this one a little different? Well. This one is different, just that it's a recipe book, there's lots of photographs, uh, all the recipes are very simple and right. accessible. Um, but also my mother, my 86 year young mother contributed some uh, cooked uh, dishes. Okay. So it's not all raw, it's 100% right. plant based, using fresh, whole, unprocessed foods. Um, and gluten-free, of course, right. uh, and using easy-to-source ingredients. Right. And how did you get into all this? Because your mom, like you said, you know, she has mm -hmm. been teaching you, I guess, over the years how to create healthy foods. But how did you you get into raw food? Well, I was raised this way, um, but. Uh, in my 20s, I became a fashion model, right. and um, I, like, as you can imagine, there was a lot of pressure to maintain a very slim physique. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of my peers, I uh, began yo-yo dieting <laughs> and living on pretty much, you know, highly refined, highly processed diet foods. This later led to anorexia and bulimia, and uh, I suffered with it for about eight years. Wow. Um, it wasn't until I cleaned up my diet and really began to eat fresh, whole, real foods right. um, that I completely reversed uh, my eating disorders, but also it came with many other gifts. Yeah, exactly. I mean, look at you. You look so healthy oh, and thank vibrant. You. That was a quarter glowing. century ago, by the way. I know. I can't, it's hard to believe. You look fabulous. Well, what are you going to prepare for us here So today, today? we're going to make one of my favorite dishes, okay. um, and actually a very popular dish at the restaurant, Simply Raw Express, Rad Pad Thai. Okay. So I'll show you how easy it is. I mean, I love my blenders, and I brought a very easy, portable blender. If you don't have a blender, you can even just whisk it up. Okay. Um, but just starting with the liquids in our, into our blender, there's le uh, lime juice. If you don't have lime juice, you can use lemon. Okay. Um, there's a little bit of gluten-free tamari or soy sauce okay. if, if you have it. Um, uh, there's a little bit of organic maple syrup. Oh, a little sweetness to of it. Of course, Very we nice. want ginger and garlic yes. Yes. <laughs> for flavor. Okay. And then we have here some cut up tomatoes. Okay. So to create that kind of that reddish color from pad thai. Absolutely. And you know, a lot of people love, I mean, I, I used to love uh, pad thai as well, but it's fried, it's with oils, right. it has gluten. So after we eat our noodles, you know, or a bloated, great big dish, right. we feel bloated and we end up on the couch. And this is going <laughs> so to be the opposite for you right. all at home. Yeah. So we want to have a little bit of coconut oil, and what that's very oil? healthy. As we know, it's good for the skin, it supports the thyroid, it increases metabolism. So just a little bit of that. To and great flavor. Good flavor. Right. And then almond butter we have, which uh, I actually just made in a food processor. Really? So I don't even go to the store to buy it. Um, if you have a food processor, you can just process it up and there's So you just whip up the almonds yeah. until they become a paste? Yeah. Is that simple? Yeah. Do you have to add wow. a liquid? Nope. nope. No, oh, you okay. just need patience. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got patience. I can do that. I can do that. All right. So we're into the blender and... Uh, there we go. Okay. Very simple. So noodles. Okay. Have yes. you seen one of these? I have seen one. I've never used one. Okay. This is like that apple one we had right. on. Remember? Oh, yeah, uh, the I apple think last one, right. uh, last oh, yeah, week I've or the seen week before. Those too. Yeah. yeah. So we just want to yeah press it in there. Okay. Okay. And push this in. And lightly spiralize our instant And this noodles. is our this is our, this our noodles, right? Yeah. This is a great that is way. All it takes. So it's an insta pasta maker. Yeah. Oh my Incredible. I always wonder how you do this at the restaurant. So whenever I stop by and get, I get the noodles or I get something else. <laughs> so like it's the, very, the, very the simple. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. I th the book as well talks about the philosophy as well that, uh, of raw eating, right? right? You just don't jump into the recipes and you give people some great advice and tips on what to have on hand yeah. as well to add flavor. Absolutely. And you don't need to be a 100% raw, raw foodist to reap the health benefits. Right. I yeah. mean, just by including some of the delicious foods. The desserts, for instance. I mean, oh, people think that are people off think the that shelves. raw eating is entails eating like a rabbit, right. you know. But yeah. you can just get very creative in the kitchen to transform these fresh fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds into things like 
luscious lemon cheesecake, which is your favorite, I think. It right? is. <laughs> I love it. Well, I mean, as I said, they're flying off the shelves. I can't believe you've even given away some of your cheesecake <laughs> yes. recipes in your so book. Great. Because yeah. That's a big I'm secret to give away. Absolutely. <laughs> well, and also, it's not time consuming. And I think a lot of it's people think that um, coming up with these ideas is going to be very time consuming, but it's not. It's very fast, and even at a restaurant, I mean, we try to keep it as simple as possible, very fast and easy, yeah. because most people don't have a lot of time in the kitchen. I mean, exactly. we're living in a very fast-paced society, myself included, so it's got to have flavor, yeah. um, so that's why we use, you know, uh, ginger and garlic and different fresh herbs. Uh, but you can make some really healthy foods that take no time at all. Yeah, you're right. I mean, everyone's always intimidated yeah. about eating healthy and they think it's going to take a long time, but you've just proven in, yeah. in six minutes that it, it doesn't take any time at all. <laughs> Congratulations, Natasha, Thank on the book. You. People can pick it up everywhere, I imagine. Absolutely, it's available yeah. in all stores Amazon, and, of course, chapters. online as well. Natasha, thanks so much. And thanks, you can go nice visit her. Book. She's down there in Hintonburg <laughs> at the Simply Raw <laughs> Express. <laughs> Lois is going to eat that. We have a great show for you tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.